Welcome to LeetCode's Blind Curate 75, where I'll be solving the top 75 LeetCode questions. This question is called Maximum Subarray, and it's a classic one, one you definitely need to know. Here's the question. Given an integer array nums, find the contiguous subarray containing at least one number, which has the largest sum, and return its sum. Say we're given a list like this. We want to find the maximum sum of any subarray inside here, and it's got to be contiguous. Here it's going to be 4, negative 1, 2, 1, which has a maximum sum of 6. And we actually only need to return the maximum sum, sum possible, not the subarray itself. Okay, so this is known as Kadan's algorithm, and it's one you definitely need to know. LeetCode considers it easy. I don't think it's that easy, but if you memorize it and just have it in your back pocket, uh, definitely will come in handy. So here's the basic idea. We'll just go through the array and start with initializing two numbers, one for the maximum sum that we've calculated so far, and one for the current sum that we've calculated at this point. So here at negative two, we'll say negative two is our current maximum sum and store that as our max sum for now because that's you know, the maximum sum that's possible. So as we move on to the next one, now we add the current number to our current sum and that's gonna be minus one, right? And minus one is greater than minus two, so we'll store that as our maximum sum. Now we move on to minus three and now our current maximum is gonna be minus four uh, obviously minus one is greater than minus four, so we'll keep minus one as our maximum sum. But here at four, now our maximum sum is gonna be zero, right? Our current sum is gonna be zero. So that's obviously greater than our maximum sum that I've calculated so far as minus one. So now zero should be our maximum sum. But here's the thing with Kadan's algorithm. One of the things you wanna check is would it be better to just get rid of everything before? Because if we just got rid of all this and said, hey, start this subarray here, four is obviously greater than zero. So it would be better to just start here and say this is gonna be our current sum and that'll be considered the maximum sum at this point. And whatever we calculate moving forward, if this point is greater than the maximum sum we've calculated so far, then whatever we calculate as our maximum current sum moving forward, it's going to be greater than keeping all this back here. And that's the idea. Like we have this kind of pointer that essentially moves up whenever we find that getting rid of it is going to be greater than keeping it. And we don't actually need to keep the pointers. We just need to calculate the maximum sums. So the first thing you'll need to do is first initialize two variables, one for the max sum and one for the current sum. And the max sum is going to be the lowest possible integer that we could have in Python. And you can do that by um, this representation that's like a float and the negative inf is basically the lowest possible number in Python. And current sum will initialize that to zero because we haven't actually calculated anything yet, right? So for every number in nums, what we want to do is calculate our current sum. So current sum will be basically um, plus, plus whatever num is here. But we also have to keep in mind, it might be just better to get keep the number that we're on. So what we'll do is say max between either cur sum plus the n that we've calculated. Um, so this, this is everything we've calculated so far, plus this current number or just this current number. Because if that's the case, then if this is greater, then we can just get rid of whatever came before and just start over. Now our max sum is gonna be equal to the max of, well, any max sum we've calculated so far and the current sum. Finally, we can just return the max sum. So it looks like that works for our test case. Let's submit that. And there, accepted. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks very simple, but it's one that I think you'll need to look into a little more. Uh, there's variations of it of saying, oh, could you return the, the subarray? Uh, if, if that's the case, you want to keep track of the 
index numbers and lots of variations to this. But this is my preferred method. There's other ways to kind of go about it. Um, but but yeah, Kadan's algorithm is definitely like, um, you know, a, a, a tool that you'll definitely need for these programming algorithms. All right, so thanks for watching my channel. Um, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing. <laughs>